in the good old summertime from wikipedia the free online encyclopedia at www.wikipedia.org in the good old summertime is a 1949 american technicolor musical film directed by robert z leonard it stars judy garland van johnson and s z zakal the film is a musical adaptation of the 1940 film the shop around the corner directed by ernst lubish and starring James Stewart and Margaret Sullivan, and written by Miklos Laszlo, based on his 1937 play Parfumerie. For the film, the locale has been changed from 1930s Budapest to turn-of-the-century Chicago, but the plot remains the same. Plot Veronica Fischer, Judy Garland, enters Oberkugen's music shop looking for work. Although Otto Oberkugen, S.Z. Zakal, is reluctant to take on more staff, she wins a job by persuading a wealthy matron, through her singing and musical expertise, to buy a harp at almost $25 over Uberkugen's list price. Neither she nor Andrew Larkin, Van Johnson, the shop's senior salesman, suspects that they are each other's anonymous pen pal. They bicker constantly at work, despite becoming increasingly attracted to each other. Cast Judy Garland as Veronica Fisher, Van Johnson as Andrew Larkin, S. Z. Zakal as Otto Uberkugen. Spring Byington as Nellie Burke, Clinton Sundberg as Rudy Hansen, Buster Keaton as Hickey, Marsha Van Dyke as Louise Parkson, Lillian Bronson as Aunt Addie, and Liza Minnelli as Veronica and Andrew's daughter. Final scene, uncredited. Songs In the Good Old Summertime, George Evans and Ren Shields, Meet Me Tonight in Dreamland, Leo Friedman and Beth Whitson, Put Your Arms Around Me, Honey, Albert Von Tilzer and Junie McCree. Play That Barbershop Chord, Louis Muir and William Tracy. I Don't Care, Harry Sutton and Gene Lennox. Merry Christmas, Fred Spielman and Janice Torrey. Production Garland introduced the Christmas song Merry Christmas in this film. It was later covered by Johnny Mathis, Bette Midler, and cabaret artist Connie Champagne. Director Robert Leonard originally hired Buster Keaton as a gag writer to help him devise a way for a violin to get broken that would be both comic and plausible. Keaton came up with an elaborate stunt that would achieve the desired result. However, Leonard realized Keaton was the only one who could execute it properly, so he cast him in the film. Keaton also devised the sequence in which Johnson inadvertently wrecks Garland's hat and coached Johnson intensively in how to perform the scene. This was the first MGM film that Keaton appeared in after having been fired from the studio in 1933. The picture was filmed between November 1948 and January 1949. Garland's three-year-old daughter, Liza Minnelli, makes her film debut, walking with her mother and Van Johnson in the film's closing shot. The song, Last Night When We Were Young, was written in the 1930s by Harold Arlen and E.Y. Yip Harburg for the Metropolitan Opera star Lawrence Tibbet. Garland loved it and wanted to include it in the film. It was recorded and filmed, but when the picture was released, it was cut from the final print. The audio recording of Last Night When We Were Young was featured on several of Garland's MGM record albums, and she also later recorded it for Capitol Records in the 1950s. The entire footage of the number was found in the MGM vaults and included in the PBS documentary American Masters, Judy Garland, By Myself, in 2004. Reception The film was made during the height of the strained relationship between Garland and MGM. As a testament to Garland's strong popularity, it was a huge critical and commercial success. According to MGM Records, it earned $2,892,000 in the U.S. and Canada and $642,000 overseas, resulting in a profit of $601,000. According to Variety, it earned $3.4 million in the U.S. The film was the second-to-last one that Garland made at MGM, with the final being Summerstock. MGM terminated her contract by mutual agreement in September 1950. The film is recognized by American Film Institute in these lists. 2006, AFI's Greatest Movie Musicals, nominated. This article was recorded on July 4, 2019.